Okay, now we're on the third verse of this poem, The Chaos, looking at difficult English pronunciation. Okay. Hear me say, devoid of trickery, daughter, laughter, and terpsichore, typhoid, measles, topsails, aisles, exiles, similes, and reviles, scholar, vicar, and cigar, solar, mica, war, and far, one, anemone, balmoral, kitchen, lichen, laundry, laurel, Gertrude, German, wind, and mind, scene, malpomene, mankind. Okay, so there's some really difficult words there. Um, Terpsichore, I think, is a Greek goddess of dance, and I think Melpomene is another Greek um, god or goddess. They're not really important to remember for, for you if you're learning English. It's mainly just for the poem. Okay, hear me say devoid of trickery. So devoid means without any. So he means without any trickery. Um, but of course he is using some trickery because he's giving us difficult words. Um, daughter, laughter. Okay, so these words are spelt very similarly. But with daughter, we just have an or sound. And laughter, we have a f, laugh, laughter. Tepsichore. Typhoid, measles, these are both types of disease. Topsils, aisles. So measles and topsils sound the same, but they're spelt very differently. And then aisles, the S is silent. Okay, so it looks similar, but it's the S is silent. Exiles, similes, and reviles. So exiles and reviles, they're spelt the same and they sound the same, but simile, spelt the same, well, it's spelt with an I-L-E-S, but pronounced imily and not similes, similes. Scholar, vicar, and cigar. So scholar and vicar sound the same. Cigar, different, cigar. Solar, mica, war, and far. So A-R can be an R, usually it's an R sound, but it can be an uh sound like scholar and vicar, and can be an or sound like war. One, anemone, balmoral. So one, O N E is one, and anemone, O N E is an E. Kitchen, lichen. Some people say lichen, I say lichen. Laundry, laurel. So Lichen looks like it should be pronounced like kitchen, but it's actually lichen. Laundry laurel. So laundry a a u is an or sound in laundry, but an o sound in laurel. Gertrude German. So the g in Gertrude is g. In German it's j. Wind and mind. Wind the i is i. Mind it's i. Seen, Malpomene, Mankind. So seen, uh, the C is silent. We don't say skeen, we say seen. Uh, Malpomene, um, we don't say Malpomene, even though it looks like seen. Normally we would say Malpomene. Mankind. It's rhymes with mind. Okay, so please practice this yourself. Get used to the sounds. Look at how the words are spelt. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you could share this on social media, that would be fantastic. Okay, also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, okay, so good luck with your English, and I'll see you in the next video.